Hi, Alan Friesen here, Certified Employee Benefit Specialist. I was doing some research on the value, the return on investment that an employer would get through their benefit program. And the, the data on employee family assistance programs is pretty consistent in terms of the return on investment of those, of those programs. And if you're not familiar with an employee family assistance program, basically what it does is expedites counseling services for somebody who's going through some challenges in their life. And we've all been there, have challenges in our life. So this is a, a quick, easy way to get the help you need so that you can move on. And the hope is as well, that if you can get the, quick, the care quicker, the assistance quicker, the problem doesn't grow into something more troubling, more problematic. So the, the Chappelle, who are one of the major EFAP providers, they just uh, released a report, and in their report, they're saying there's an $8 return for every $1 invested in an employee family assistance plan. And if you talk to the other, or if you look at the other employee family assistance providers, they all have a range of between like $5 and $10. So every time you invest a dollar, you return five or you return 10. Um, so pretty impressive return on investment. I question their methodology a little bit because basically in terms of the cost side of that equation, what they've done, they've factored the cost in for those people who actually use the employee family assistance plan. So if you have a company that has 100 employees and only 10 of them use the program, they would look at, well, what did that cost for this one of these 10 people to get service, right? Uh, to get the assistance from the employee family assistance plan. Whereas what they're not looking at is what it costs the employer to fund that program for all, in my example, all 100 employees. So the methodology that way is a little bit flawed. But on the other side, the only two factors they looked at in terms of how it benefited people was in terms of reducing absence and improving productivity. And it was self-reported by these people who use the Employee Family Assistance Program. And then what they also don't count on or didn't factor in is in terms of cost is with medication costs. Does it impact the medication costs for your program? Do they reduce because the person has found others, other tools to help them, right? Um, the other thing that it doesn't take into consideration is that it's not just the employee. So the employee needs the assistance. The employee gets the assistance. Well, that reflects on their home life as well, right? So it's more than just the individual employee who gets assisted when you use the Employee Family Assistance Program. So anyways, just long and the short of it, they're saying an $8 return, whether it's an $8 return or a $5 return, any kind of a tool that helps people with mental health challenges, which are becoming way more common today, just the pace of life is such, um, is a good investment. So I'm a big fan of Employee Family Assistance Plans, getting people the, the help they need in order to move forward with their lives. Um, thanks much, keep well.